I'm down here at what's going to be the Lego, the annual Lego convention starting tomorrow. Now I'm here with Ryan McNaught who has the very fortunate job of being the only certified Lego professional in the Southern Hemisphere. Ryan, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Now, a question I think every child and adult <laughs> wants to know, how do you turn playing with Lego into a full-time career? Oh, it's pretty easy actually. I was quite lucky. I have two little boys, twin sons, and uh, I was playing Lego with him like any good dad does. And uh, I made a big Airbus A380, the double-decker aeroplane, uh, out of Lego, and I filled it full of Lego robotics. So the wheels would come down, the flaps would extend, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, some guys from Lego saw it and said, we need to talk. So the convention's travelling around Australia, but we've got some very Melbourne-specific things here today. We've got Luna Park right here. Um, how, do you often do themed things when there are conventions? Do people sort of try to do specific buildings that are popular and familiar? Yeah, very much so. And obviously being in Melbourne, a lot of us, this is our hometown, so we really try and promote Melbourne as much as we possibly can. Luna Park's a, a great one. Uh, last year we did the Herald Sun Building, uh, 101 Collins Street, Eureka Tower. So yeah, anything uniquely Melbourne. Now, you like doing the big stuff and it is what you're good at. And obviously the highlight of the show, which we've got over here, is the spaceship. That's pretty impressive, I've got to say. Tell us a little bit about, about what it is and how do you come about designing something like this? It's funny the idea for this model came about uh, at the convention last year. A little child said to me here in the town hall, why don't you build something that goes to the roof? And I thought to myself, hmm, what can I build that's really, really tall? So I don't think I quite got to the roof, I got pretty close. Um, I thought to myself, what's really popular, what's cool, what's never been done before? So yes, yeah, so I thought, oh, Saturn V rocket would be great. How do you design it? Do you work with engineers? Uh, I don't know. I'm uh, quite lucky with something like the Saturn V because it's been on the internet, uh, you know, so many pictures, so much information available to it. So yeah, I was able to do a fair bit of research and go from there. And the detail's quite amazing. If we look inside here, you've got a bit of interior detail as well. Yeah, I'm quite, uh, what I try and do with all of my models is I'll open them up and show content. So we have the fuel tanks, we have rocket boosters. Uh, up the top up here, we have all the rocket boosters of the second stage. We have all the astronauts on board ready to go. So yeah, detail's one of the things I really like to do. Mm. And the very obvious question, how many pieces of Lego? This is 120,000 Lego bricks. Is this the biggest you've ever done? No, the love boat. I made a love boat, uh, which was, uh, I did last year, which was a quarter of a million Lego bricks. That's fantastic. Thank you. Now, Lego obviously is competing now in the digital age with lots of computer games, lots of online um, activities that kids do. Is it just as popular as ever? Uh, absolutely it is. It, it, it's a refreshing thing. It's something different from computer games, so parents can see it as an alternative to playing computer games. It's very hands-on, very physical. And not only that, Lego does have computer games too, so it kind of got the best of both worlds. Is Lego having to do anything to try and remain, I suppose, competitive in, in the changing toy market? Is it taking some initiatives? Um, uh, very very much so. It's very much involved in the licensed product nowadays, so a lot of Star Wars, Lego, uh, Harry Potter, things like that. So it kind of stays up to date with popular culture. Beautiful. Thank you, Ryan, so much for your time. Well, it's definitely good to see that there's, um, there's some people who are hell-bent on uh, keeping these kinds of traditions alive.